Hi, my name is Bryce. I'm out here in a field of organic basmati rice. And it, the rice is 14 days old. And um, as you can see here, we have, I think, some really nice rice. And it is uh, indicated by the um, stems being straight up. But if you look carefully, you can see some plants that have this kind of hook on them on the end. This is a, a piece of grass. And what we're looking for right now is how healthy the rice is, a plant like this, and how healthy the grass is, a plant like this. Let's take a look at them. Here we, we, we have the rice at about, or the water at about 12 inches deep. There you can see the grass uh, seed. Let's pull a plant of rice. And here you can see the rice seed. There's the basmati seed. And we compare these uh, plants. The, um, the, they're about the same height. The only way that we can uh, stop the um, um, grass from growing is to keep it underwater for about 20 to 21 days. And that's what we're doing by keeping this water at this depth. And uh, at about 21 days, the grass will drown. And, uh, and you can see that hook that we showed uh, on the, um, the video. That's an indication that the, that the uh, plant is stressing. But if we look at the um, leaves here, there's one leaf, there's two leaves, here's three leaves. We know from experience that this grass leaf won't drown until the fourth leaf. And so um, we take a look, there's the fourth leaf right there. And uh, we have to keep this underwater and keep that fourth leaf from emerging or coming through the water. And if we can do that at about 21 days, this grass plant will drown. We look at the rice plant and it's very similar. We look at the leaves, leaf one, leaf two here, and then leaf three is, is the one that's long. But we know too that there's a fourth leaf there and that we have to get that fourth leaf through the water. And uh, there it is right there, there's the fourth leaf. That leaf has to get a breath of air. And so our goal here in weed management and organic rice with this grass weed is to keep the grass underwater until it drowns at about 21 days. And at that point, we'll let the water down and let this rice leaf through, and then it'll get a breath of air and live and then start to grow through the water. And at that point, we can let the water down to a, uh, a depth of, um, of four or five inches and let the rice get strong. But then the next thing we're gonna do, if I go to the bottom here, and you can see all this bulrush. This is an aquatic weed. We can't drown that weed. And so uh, there's lots of them. There's probably, what, uh, five times more of those than the rice. And so after um, a period of time that the rice gets really strong and healthy, then we'll let the water completely off and hold it off so that it gets dry, dry, dry enough that you can just drive uh, out here uh, or dry enough that uh, it'll, the ground will crack. And that's how we're going to manage these broadleaf weeds like duck salad and, um, and bulrush and, and other sedges and, and lilies and things like that. Well, thank you very much for your interest today. We'll, uh, we'll look at this rice some more as the season goes on.